For creating an approval mapping, we have to create first at least a project with an issue. Then we can go to Apps, Manage your apps, Herd some approval, and Section approvals. We can create an approval by passing through Add Approval button, put in the approval name, and selecting if there will be a single or multiple properties. Let's take the case when we choose a single property and by choosing Add button, we land on the page where we have to choose a user for approving or rejecting an approval. In this case, we can select only one user who should be in only one property name. For example, if I select a user and I try to select even a reporter, automatically the app takes the value of the last one selected. After click and save, we can find the approval created in the approval table. If we choose multiple properties, the differences are that here you can choose multiple properties identifying the users enabled to take the approval decision, and the approver can satisfy at least one property or all properties. Also, the properties identifying who can or cannot approve are separate. Let's go into the Approval Mapping section and through Add Mapping button, we can select a project. There can be various projects and you can select the project you are creating for the mapping. I have only one for the effect of the video and I choose this one. By clicking the Next button, we can select the issue we are creating for the mapping. I should select the Type task because I have on the project an issue of type task. And if I create, for example, another type like story, the mapping will not be successful. By clicking the next button, we are able to select a transition and then select an approval. Even here, we can have various approvals and we can choose the one we prefer. I have only one and I will go with it. In the last step, we have a summary of our choices and by clicking save, we see the approval mapping created in the table of approval mappings. For setting a conditional rule for the approval mapping, we go into conditional rules and through add conditional rule button, we configure a rule. The name and condition of the rule are mandatory. Even here, we can select only one user who can evaluate the conditional rule. After saving, we can see as always the record created on the conditional rules table. We switch again on the approval mapping section and we apply the rule created by passing through configure advanced setting panel. Clicking condition enabling slash disabling the approvals and selecting the conditional rule created. Even here, we can have various rules and apply the one you prefer as always. If we want to verify if the rule is applied, we switch to the conditional rules section and in the field assigned mapping, we see one mappings value. We go to the issue created and click on the approvals button. We have the message, you don't have any approval mapping to this issue type in this status. Because the priority here is medium. If we change the priority in high, like the rule was created, we can finally do the mapping.